Developing news, former President Trump is expected to surrender next week after a grand jury in New York indicted him yesterday. Prosecutors now investigating whether the former president violated campaign finance laws. Eric Spillman in our newsroom with the latest. Eric, good morning. Morning, Chris. Morning, Megan. Donald Trump is the first person in U.S. history to serve as commander in chief and then be charged with a crime. He's expected to turn himself in and appear in court on Tuesday afternoon in New York City. He will be fingerprinted, processed, and photographed for a mugshot, just like any other criminal defendant. Trump was indicted by a Manhattan grand jury. The charges are under seal, but they stem from payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign, allegedly to keep her from saying she'd had a sexual encounter with Trump years earlier. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, testified that he paid Daniels $130,000 using his own money and that he was later reimbursed by Trump, all part of an effort to keep Daniels quiet. When we zoom back and think about these charges, it really, we think, will relate to payments that were made to try and affect a presidential election. That's a big deal. It's not a small paperwork crime. Trump, who is running for president again and is the leading Republican candidate in polls, has denied any wrongdoing and says he did not have an affair with Daniels. He issued a statement saying the Democrats have lied, cheated and stolen in their obsession to try and get Trump. But now they've done the unthinkable, indicting a completely innocent person in an act of blatant election interference. Republicans are rallying to Trump's side. I don't know if voodoo's legal in New York, but this is legal voodoo. You got a misdemeanor that's been made a felony. Nobody in the history of New York City has ever been prosecuted under this theory except for Donald J. Trump. The charges in New York could turn out to be just the beginning of the legal trouble Trump might be facing. There are several other criminal investigations. A special counsel is looking into his handling of classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago home and his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Also, a district attorney in Georgia is investigating what Trump may have done to meddle in that state's vote count. But to the former president's supporters, it doesn't matter. God bless the USA! Woo! A group of them demonstrated near Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Florida with Trump banners and flags. He's falsely accused for the last six years. It's terrible. It's ruining our country. This morning, the president was asked about the indictment as he was leaving the White House to go to Mississippi. He did not want to talk about it. Are you worried you will further divide our country with the indictment? I have no comment on that. In New York City, authorities are beefing up security outside the courthouse where Trump is expected to surrender next week. Every New York police officer was told to report to duty today in uniform. Megan? Eric, thank you. The woman at the center of the investigation, adult film actress Stormy Daniels, was reportedly surprised by the indictment. A few weeks ago, Daniels said she, quote, danced down the street if the former president was indicted. But her attorney tells USA Today that his client didn't feel like dancing at all. He claims she actually feels bad that Mr. Trump has been charged. However, in a tweet following the indictment, Daniels thanked everyone for their support and says she couldn't respond to everyone because she didn't want to spill her champagne. She also claimed orders for, quote, steam, tor team stormy merchandise were pouring in.